Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create and visualize a, a Dean flow, a secondary flow that is formed in curved channel geometries, which is, I guess, pretty well known to you if you're watching this video. So basically what, what, what it is, is it's, it's two counter rotating vertices that are formed in, in a curved channel. So, so what, what, what I'm going to show you today is like how, how you can uh, create this uh, surface plots that shows these two counter rotating vertices uh, in, in a cross section of the channel. So in order to do that, I, I'm going to have to first try to like do the simulation and, and then in the post-processing section, you will see how we can create that. So I'm going to go to like file, new, and choose a blank model. And here I can you know, like easily uh, add in my component, which is 3D. And then for, for the geometry, you can either create your own geometry using the console model builder, or you can import your geometry uh, like from uh, another another um, software. Maybe you've created your geometry there, or whatever. You can easily right click uh, on the geometry and import your geometry uh, to console. And then I hit import. So my geometry is now loaded up in console. Next thing I will ha I will have to do is I will have to um, choose my physics, which is a, a, a lambda flow physics uh, for for this model. And then I'm going to specify just a few things. I'm going to change uh, just a few of these options. I'm going to leave like the most of them set as default values. Uh, first thing I think I should change is this discretization here. I'll change this one to P2 plus P1 so so that we can like, visualize more accurate results. And the next thing I want to change is like in the fluid properties section I want to change this density to be to be set to user defined. The value of 1000 is good uh, for the density 1000 kilograms per cubic meter. And also the, 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 the viscosity is also like user defined value which is the, visco the viscosity of, of water. And so I'm just going to leave them to, to their default values. Next thing I want to change is I want to like create an inlet for my channel, which is this face. And I'm going to change this to this boundary condition, just leave it off the velocity and choose point one as my inlet velocity and then I'm going to create an outlet for the lambda flow so right click on it and I choose outlet and this time I'm going to choose like this other face here so, and I'm going to change the boundary condition to pressure zero so basically what happens is is water uh, or fluid with the characteristic of water will, will enter the flow in the channel like from this inlet and it goes all the way to here, which is the outlet. And I want to visualize the Dean vertex arrow plot somewhere in, in the middle here. So, so that's pretty much it for, for the for the setup. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick physics controlled mesh for my um, geometry. I'm going to build all physics controlled normal mesh for my lambda flow. And once this this mesh is created, I can simply hit like compute button on my study so I basically choose this this um, stationary study setting and uh, and that's it I, I don't really have to change any of these options I'm just gonna hit compute so like like in a couple of minutes I will have the solved solution for my velocity field and then uh, we'll see how we can visualize that Dean vortex arrow plot so after a couple of minutes, my uh, my model is now solved. You can see we can like, look at this velo velocity field that's been solved, and you can see that it's great. But what we actually want to see is we want to see those those arrow plot that that showed the vertices. So the first thing I will need to to have is I I will need to have a coupling 
through this this section of my channel so so that I can see the results right here where where we have this curvature in order to do that I'm gonna have to go to the data set section and right click on the data set and uh, choose a cup plane and once I, I've chosen that cup plane I want this plane to be exactly right uh, here so it basically will lie on the YZ plane and with the x coordinate of zero so so I think that that's the default here I really shouldn't change that it's the yz plane and the x coordinate is set to zero if you want to like if if your your model is, is different from this one then you would try to to build your your plane your cup plane here so it it exactly like cr crosses the um your geometry where you want to visualize the beautiful so you hit plot and here, here's the plane that I have here uh, in my data set. So basically what I will need to do is I will need to uh, right click on my results and create a 3 plot group. And here I, I, want to, I want to change the data set to the coupling one which I just created. And then I will have to right click on this 3D plot group and choose uh, arrow surface so here in, in my arrow surface plot settings what I want is basically like I want this this uh, section of my channel to this part of the channel to, to show me the Dean vortex and Dean flow as you know is formed perpendicular to the direction of the main channel created in the Y and Z plane and not in the X direction so basically I will have to uh, I will have to set the X component of my velocity zero just because I don't want to see that I just want to see the Y and Z components which are V and W so I'm going to change the X component to zero and then hit plot here as you can see is like the whole arrows that show exactly the, the formation of the Dean vortices as you would probably expect um, but one well, one other thing that you, you might want to change is like the colors and, and the, the placement of all these uh, arrows which you can change here in, in the arrow positioning section well obviously you can have as many number of arrows as you want like if it's, its default is set to 200 I can change like to 500 and once I apply you can see that the number of arrows that I have here increases you can play around with all these these options here if you change the scaling factor you can see that the arrows will change magnitude and also you can change the color from red to whatever you'd like black or, or, or whatever color you'd like to have and one one other thing that that might uh, one other thing that you might want to do is you might want to, to see this as a part of the whole geometry not like this separated section so I guess for that you will need to have to go go through this 3d plot group 3 that we created and maybe change the data set here from cup plane to study one and then go back to our arrow surface plot and this time change the data set from parent to cup plane so we, we can like this way we can see the whole geometry and also we can see our, our surface like in the middle so maybe that's something you would like to have and if you want to have like these arrows like placed on the velocity magnitude plot you can simply right click on this 3d plot group and add in a slice um, plot so basically you will have a slice and you want the data set to be uh, like and you want the data set to be from parent and the, the default expression is SPFU which is velocity magnitude I'm just gonna hit plots and once I do you can see that I have this like velocity magnitude plots and also I have this error surface plot on top which is uh, pretty interesting so so that's about it that's uh, how you can visualize like the, these Dean vortices that are created um, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that if you're like 
if you if your geometry is different from what I have here, then you would probably um, make sure that you're you are defining the right cup plane. Once you're defining the cup plane, you have to make sure which plane you're choosing and what the x coordinate is. Or maybe you would you would have to like in, in some more complex geometries, you just have to change this plane type from quick to general and then specify like three points or uh, a point and a normal to define your your plane but once you do that then everything else just should be the same and then you can have your your arrow surface block uh, uh, that's about it hope you enjoyed this one uh, as well uh, if you did please like this video and also subscribe to my channel i will try to post uh, like different tutorials from like different projects that i work with in Tomsol and and maybe some other software softwares as well and feel free to leave in the comment section what, what tutorial types you want me to do like in console or excel or for different like engineering softwares like that uh, that's it i'll see you next time bye